Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we're going to do this stitch. It's called the arrow stitch. It's not reversible. So this is the, the front of the, the work and this is the, the back. I don't know. I'm not such a big fan of this stitch to be honest. You can make, I don't know, infinity scarves, blankets, maybe a hat. I don't know, a blouse. It's very easy. Apparently, basically, it's one row repeat. It's just a little bit different when we do this, where we place them front or you know how we go with a with a crochet hook. So this is just a plain color, and this is the back. I don't know. Well, if some of you you like this this stitch, give it a try. You might uh, you might like it. Well, what I have to say, it might uh, eat a lot of a lot of yarn. Yeah, so be ready with if you make a blanket or something, it might take a lot of yarn. So this stitch works with multiples of six plus three more. So I chain here eighteen, and now I'm gonna chain three more. One two and three. Now the first row what we're gonna do we're gonna do single crochet so we're gonna skip the first chain this one and in the second chain we're gonna do single crochet in each chain so move to the next chain and do a single crochet and in each chain until we finish the row we're gonna do single crochet. I should have made a smaller chain well you can pause the, the video and do your single crochet row until I finish this but it's very easy it's one row repeat basically but I don't know it's just mm, it's too fiddling with this uh, stitch I, I don't like so much this one but if you like this stitch, well, go ahead and do whatever project you want to, to do with this. It goes fast. I will have to say, it goes fast. But I think with this stitch you might uh, want to, to work, I don't know, maybe a half number bigger than the yarn recommends, maybe. So single crochet first row, then we're going to chain three one two and if you chain too tight leave the third one a little bit loose yeah turn your work and now we're gonna skip five we're gonna start not from this one if you want to put this one too to add let's say when you start to to skip so one two three four five six and in the seventh yeah but if you don't count this one, you're going to start from this one. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Five stitches you're going you're gonna to skip. So yarn over the hook three times. So once, twice, and the third time. You should have four loops on your hook. One, two, three, four. Then in that seventh or sixth, let's say, you're going to go in there. I'm going to pull up a loop. Pull the yarn to the first two loops, pull the yarn to the next two loops, the next two, and the last two. Well, the first row, I can tell you, is going to be uh, not so pretty. I mean, not that easy. So now you have five stitches that we skipped. So one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over the hook. And you're going to go from behind the work, from behind this. So you're going to go into that first, this one here. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. So go from behind into the first one. Pull up a loop and push this down like this and it's going to be easy. So we're going to do a double crochet. 
yarn over the hook, move to the next stitch, double crochet. So you're gonna do five double crochets. So yarn over the hook, move to the next stitch, double crochet, next stitch, double crochet, and the fifth stitch, it's a little bit tucked here, hidden a little bit. So make sure that you don't skip this one. Yeah. So yarn over the hook, the last stitch, it's right here. So you go into that, pull up a loop, and do a double crochet. So it's gonna look like this, like five double crochet, which is this one crosses the, the five double crochet. So yarn over the hook three times, one, two, and three. You should have four loops, one, two, three, four. So now you're gonna skip five stitches. We worked in this one. So one, two, three, four, and in the one, two, three, <coughs> four, five, you're gonna skip, and in the sixth one, you're gonna do, you're gonna pull up a loop, pull the yarn to the first two loops, the next two loops, the next two, and the last two. I'm telling you, the first row, it's pain. So now you have five stitches that we skipped. One, two, three, four, five. You see, it's kind of at the base of this, the fifth one. So it's kind of easy to, to miss this. So yarn over the hook, and you're going to go from behind to go to the first one. Yeah. Do a double crochet, and then you're going to push this down, and you're going to have the access to the to the stitches. So we have four more stitches. One, two, three, four. So yarn over the hook, go to the next stitch and do a double crochet. Next stitch, double crochet. Move to the next stitch, double crochet. And the last stitch, it's here. So you go into that and you do a double crochet. You should always have five double crochets. It's gonna look like this. So again, yarn over the hook three times, once, twice, and three times. And again, we're going to skip five stitches. So you worked in... Uh, you worked in this one, so we're going to skip five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And in the six, you're going to go in there into the sixth stitch Pull up a loop. Man, I should have cut my fingernails. Grab the yarn and pull the yarn to the first two loops. The next two. The next two. And the last two. And now you're going to go back and going to work this into these five stitches that we skipped. One, two, three, four, five. You see the fifth one, it's right here at the base of this one. And sometimes you feel like you you don't have five. So again, go, yarn over the hook, go from behind the work and go into the the first one. Pull up a loop and then push this a little bit that you will have access to the stitches. And do a double crochet, move to the next stitch. Next stitch, double crochet. The next stitch, so you should have five double crochets. And the last one is here. You go in that and you're gonna do a double crochet. And then you're left with one stitch here, this one. So yarn over the hook, we're gonna go into the last stitch and we're gonna do a double crochet. You're always gonna finish with a double crochet at the end. And you always chain three. One, two, and three. Turn your work. And now we're gonna work onto the back of the the work. So now again you're gonna put the yarn over the hook three times. One, two, and three, and then skip these five double crochets. All this you're gonna skip, and you're gonna go into this stitch here. 
this one. It's very easy to see. It's a lot of space, so it's easy for you to see. To see. So you skip all this and you go into that stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull the yarn to the first two, next two, next two, and the last two. And now you're gonna go back to work the five stitches that we skipped. Yeah. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over the hook. And now you have to keep this thing only on one side. You cannot go like this. Yeah. You you have to keep all these at the on the on this side. So yarn over the hook. And you go from front and this push it down. Kinda with the with the finger like this, push it down there and do a double crochet. Move to the next stitch, double crochet. Next stitch, double crochet. You should have five double crochets. Next stitch, double crochet. And the last stitch is here, double crochet. You should always keep those uh, that thing on the on the back here. It formed the first arrow already. So again, yarn over the hook three times. One, two, three. Skip all these five double crochets, and in this stitch, in this space here, you go into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull the yarn to the first two loops, next two, next two, and next two, and now you're gonna go and work the five double crochets that you skipped. One, two, three, four, and the fifth one right here. So you this time you're gonna this row you're gonna do it from front like this and push that down and do a double crochet yarn over the hook move to the next stitch double crochet next stitch double crochet and you should have five double crochets and the fifth one it's right here. It's gonna look like this. So again yarn over the hook three times, two and three, and now you're gonna skip all these five double crochet and at the end you have the chain three, one, two, three, and in here it's a stitch. So you're gonna go into this stitch Try to pick up two. Okay. So you're gonna do pass the under first two loops next to oh boy. Yeah, I don't like it. So fiddling this thing. I just don't like this stitch at all. So you go right the, the stitch before the, the chain three. Yeah. It's right here. So you go in there. Pull the yarn to the first two loops, the next two, next two, and the last two. And now you go, you're gonna work the five stitches. One, two, three, four, and the fifth. It's right here. Yeah. So you're gonna go into the first one, and you're gonna do a double crochet. Go into the second stitch and do double crochet the third stitch, the fourth, and the fifth one, it's right here, this one. And like I said, you're always going to finish with a double crochet, so you have chain the chain three, one, two, three. You you go on top of the chain th 3 and you're gonna do a double crochet. You're always gonna finish with a double crochet with this stitch. And you're gonna chain 3. Turn your work and it's gonna look like this. Yeah, not a big fan of this stitch, I don't know why. Okay, so now you're gonna repeat the same uh, same row. So yarn over the hook three times, once, twice, 
three times you have four loops so now you're gonna skip all this the five double crochet and you're gonna go into this stitch this one so you go in there pull up a loop pull the yarn to the first two loops next two next two and the last two and now you have five stitches one two three four and the fifth one it's tucked in there yeah it's very easy to miss that one so yarn over the hook and you're gonna go from behind push it down push this down with a crochet and go into the first hold it down like this and then do a double crochet yarn over the hook move to the next stitch and do a double crochet next stitch double crochet this is the third one fourth double crochet and the fifth one it's right here this one so again yarn over the hook three times one two three so now you're gonna skip all this and you're gonna go into this stitch here and you're gonna pull up a loop pull the yarn to the first two loops next two next two and the next two and now yarn over the hook you're gonna work into these five stitches the double crochet from the previous row one two three four and the fifth one it's right here so like I said from behind you go kind of push it down and hold it with your finger like this and do a double crochet yarn over the hook move to the next stitch double crochet next stitch double crochet next stitch this is the fourth one yarn over the hook and the last one is right here yeah no 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 I, I don't I don't care much for this stitch to be honest it's gonna look like this so again yarn over the hook three times you should always have four loops one two three four and then you're gonna skip all this and in the last here you have this stitch you have the 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 chain three one two three and the last stitch is here this one so you go into that pull up a loop pull the yarn to the first two loops next two next two and the last two and yarn over the hook and now we're gonna work into this five stitches one two three four and the fifth it's tucked in there so from behind you go to the first stitch and do a double crochet next stitch double crochet next stitch double crochet next stitch double crochet this is the fourth one yeah it's tricky because the last one it's so tucked in here that you're gonna have a feeling like uh oh I skipped only four instead of five so yarn over the hook and go to the fifth it's right here the tricky one so yarn over the hook and now you have the chain three you're gonna skip the first second chain and in the third chain on top of the third chain into the chain you're gonna pull up a loop and do a double crochet then you're gonna chain three and so on it's gonna look like this this is the back and this is the front okay I'm gonna do one more row and then I will stop so yarn over the hook three times once twice and third so again you're gonna skip these five double crochets and you're gonna go into this stitch here go into that pull the yarn to the first two loops next two next two and the last two and now you're gonna go back and you're gonna work the fifth the the five double crochets so you have one two three 
4 and 5th, it's right here. Yeah, so this time we're gonna work from front. Yeah, you go into the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you go into this one and push this back and do a double crochet. Move to the next stitch, double crochet, next stitch, double crochet, next stitch, the same, double crochet, yarn over the hook, and the last one it's right here, this one, this one. So again, yarn over the hook three times, once, twice and the third, skip these five double crochets and you're gonna go into this stitch here you skip all this and into this one pull up a loop, pull the yarn to the first two loops next two, next two and the last two yarn over the hook and now you're gonna have to work the five double crochets one, two, three, four and the fifth is right there so you go from the, the front and you push this down first, second, third, fourth and the fifth here. So again, yarn over the hook three times. So now you have the, the chain three and the stitch is right here, this one. So you go into that, pull up a loop, pull the yarn to the first two loops, pull the yarn to the last two, well, next two, and the last two. And now you're going to have to work the, fifth, the, the five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and the fifth is right here. So you go from front. One. Two. Three. Fourth and the fifth is right here okay and you're gonna finish with a double crochet into the top third chain so you have the chain one two three you skip the first two and on top of the third one yarn over the hook you go in there and you're gonna do a double crochet and you chain three and you start again and it looks like this Yeah, no, I um, I don't see myself doing something with this uh, this stitch. No, it's too too. Mm, I don't know. It's just I I don't I don't care so much for this stitch. I I have stitches that I just don't care much for for them. Doesn't doesn't have any appeal to me. And this one it's really fiddling and, and weird. But if you like, you can do. I don't know. You can do infinity scarves hats this is just one plain color yeah well I don't know uh, I, I'm sure you know with me if I don't like some stitches it's just it's I, I don't know I, I don't think I explain so well because it's just I don't I don't have a feel for that for that stitch this one it's well I don't know it's okay if you like to to try this this stitch you can give it a try but remember that it might eat a lot of a lot of yarn so be ready with whatever you do make sure that you have uh, a lot of yarn for you know to finish the, the project yeah okay well thank you for watching have a good day bye bye